Ten hit. Isaac Newton needed three laws to explain the relationship between an object and the forces acting on it. You'd think one of the most brilliant men in history could have achieved that goal with fewer laws. I mean, look at Romero's law, which expressly states all forms of media can be improved exponentially simply by adding zombies. Evidently, the good people at Electronic Arts are acute students of the Romero rule because they've applied its undead principles to the definitive Parker Brothers board game, Risk, giving the 53-year-old classic a fresh coat of paint, some flashy new objectives, and of course, an army of zombies. The game is Risk Factions, a downloadable title available exclusively for the Xbox 360's live arcade. And if you strip away the snazzy animations and the undead infantries, you're essentially left with the same wartime strategy game that has turned common civilians into calculating commanders since 1957. If Risk is your game, this quirky little title is an easy recommendation. But even if you're not a fan of pretending to invade sovereign nations, Risk Factions may still be worth locking in your crosshairs. In addition to giving the classic board game a charming new look, Factions also swaps global domination for a new set of rules based on completing more manageable objectives. For starters, Factions takes place on fictional maps instead of real locations, which is a much better fit for the game's equally ridiculous premise. War has spread across the globe, swallowing every nation and species into its ruinous whirlwind. The feline race in the east is clashing with the humans from the west, and worse yet, a Skynet-like army of machines has also joined the skirmish after becoming self-aware. Greetings. How shall I defend your species? Throw in the zombies and some abominable snowmen, and you're left with a hilarious global conflict that makes the unsavory business of war a much more palatable endeavor, and ensures factions is as entertaining as it is fun to play. The tale of this struggle is told with really nice cutscenes, polished animation sequences that are often genuinely funny. Of course, the drawings aren't exactly Bob Clampett-like or anything, but they look way better than you'd expect from a downloadable video game. Come out and meet your maker! Once the first shot is fired and the battle begins, Factions keeps its momentum going with gameplay that's just as funny as the cutscenes, and in some areas, actually an improvement over the original risk. By changing the objective from occupying territory to fulfilling certain tasks like seizing cities or taking control of a set of powerful radars, Factions keeps things moving at a refreshingly brisk pace. Risk has always been a long game, but Factions wages war with satisfying brevity. Risk Factions is really a game of chance. Players take turns placing available troops and then attacking others, and battles are waged by rolling the dice. The more troops you're attacking with, the more dice you can roll, and the soldiers who roll the lowest are annihilated. While there's plenty of strategy in placing your troops and choosing when and where to attack, there really isn't any skill involved with the battles themselves. They rely completely on luck, and even if you're attacking an army of two with a battalion ten men strong, you'll often lose the fight. It can be very frustrating, especially if you're not used to luck-of-the-draw games of this nature. The roll-the-dice-to-attack gameplay at the core of factions is also spiced up with some interesting special abilities. Certain objectives reward you with missiles and extra dice and all kinds of unfair advantages which tip the scales of war in your favor and give you even more incentive to fulfill them. But if you're far too serious a strategist for things like funny animations and zombies that chuck their body parts at you, you'll be pleased to know Factions also includes the traditional game of Risk as well, which, like the new version, can either be played online or offline. 
And those offline and online multiplayer modes are definitely where you'll spend most of your time in factions. This is a really short game that lasts only five missions in the single player campaign mode, and the bulk of its appeal comes from its multiplayer. So if you've got a cabinet of defense with whom you can play, Risk Factions is a no-brainer, but otherwise, aim cautiously. I really like what EA has done with Factions. They've given a classic board game a modern touch without ruining what made it so great in the first place. And really, the promise of a classic game like Risk with zombies and abominable snowmen should be enough to convince anyone Risk Factions is a war worth fighting. Can you help me, Gary? If uh, you are asking, can I bring peace to this world? Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> what I can bring is... <laughs> the pain. 